Christ's return, the evil people won't recognize because they're looking in the wrong direction. I had an interesting conversation with a fellow on YouTube about how I was evil, and I'm supposing he's all about good, you know. He but he was calling the things that I do evil, and he was saying that I was of an evil party, and I said, I'm not an evil party, I'm of a thought-out idea. And uh, God trains his people that way. He said, I'm not a pastor, and I'm not a, a prophet. And I said, they say, said the same thing about Jesus when, when he was here, you know, there, everybody has their idea of what those things are and if you miss God you're going to miss those things you know just like they did with Jesus on uh, the day of his revival <clears throat> a lot of people missed him Herod tried to kill him you know when he was born and uh, people get the idea of what good and bad are all messed up because of the because of the thing that that it brings them. They think if something brings them a physical thing, then it's good. No matter what the the path is of getting them that physical thing. But Christ taught us a different thing. He says if you do the same things the world does, then what more have you? Or if you step on a person to get to where you're going um, I've had friends at work tell me this is not personal, this is business and then try to get me fired you know <laughs> I'm like how can that not be personal and then the same people try to tell me they're Christian you know that kind of idiotic strategy is why the United States is in so much trouble today because people want to use any kind of means they can to prosper with that's not a Christian or a godly thing to do. God does not condone those things. God is not about collateral damage. I'm going to say that again. God is not about collateral damage. God does not sacrifice uh, the innocent of the land so that the, so that the evil can prosper. Amen? God sacrificed his innocent son so that men who would repent would prosper. That's a whole different story. That is a whole different story. God does not condone evil men stepping on innocence to get to where they're going in life and then calling the innocent evil because they got into the way. You know, that sounds like uh, every other religion except for Christianity. And if you're in a major party, like the Republicans or the uh, um, the Tea Party, one of those two, and the people you're with are condoning Christianity in the in the right fashion, I know there's a certain part of the members of the of the old sect of the Republicans who are not very Christian at all, who still think it's right to step on people, and but. Uh, majorly today, especially the young people, the, the um, folks getting in and the, uh, to the Republican Party has switched sides. They're they're called Reagan Republicans. Um, those are the ones who um, are about preserving our Constitution. Let me tell you something. If you have uh, a party affiliation, no matter what it is no matter what it is, and you're against our Constitution, you're anti-American, you're anti-God, because our, God's, our Constitution is based on godly things. Okay? And those folks that are going to miss Jesus when He returns are those ones that are messed up in their thoughts Listen, get out your Bible. Stop letting people tell you 
what's right and what's wrong. Get in the Word of God. Get into to some prayer and figure out for yourself what is right and what is wrong between you and God. Read the four Gospels. Read the book of Romans. That'll get you on a really good start. And you'll realize that what's right and wrong, what is, what the, what is right and what is wrong is already in you. And you just need a different measuring stick to get going in the right direction again. Alrighty, God bless. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again next time with a great message right here, Crossing the Middle Ministry.